How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of The Road to Glory here on our FIFA mobile channel. It's that time of the month, guys, where a brand new set of icons have been released. Um, firstly, I apologize that this video is coming to you guys late. Uh, icons were meant to come out at 8 o'clock. As always, the last few weeks, events have been releasing very, very late from EA. Uh, and then I watched the Arsenal-Liverpool game. So it's just finished. And uh, that is why you may be wondering why this video is late. But anyway, without further ado, I'm hoping there's going to be an icon now. I've seen the leak. Well, not the leak, but they always say what positions and nationalities uh, are of the... Refreshes in zero seconds. That is interesting. Um, okay. Uh, it doesn't look like it is. Is that... Is that surely they're going to have to fix that. Uh, anyway, I'm hoping there's going to be icons, guys, that I will actually be able to do this month. Since I've been running the Road to Glory, I've only ever done one icon from the Icon SPCs, and that was Hierro. Uh, I absolutely love him. He's still in my starting lineup. Um, cost me about four or five million coins at the time. Since then, I've not done any other icon, and I'm waiting for a good CDM. So... The first icon we're going to be covering is uh, SEN. Is it going to be Chelsea? It is going to be Chelsea. Box to box and a CDM. I don't know. I know I joined the season late, guys. But please, can you guys let me know, actually? Did I miss an icon CDM with Destroyer skill boost? That's what I want to know. Um, so the first icon we're going to be looking at is uh, Michael SEN. 85 rated, centre defensive mid, four star weak foot. Some very well-rounded stats there. He, looking at his skill boost, he should be a centre mid. That's interesting they're giving a CDM icon box to box. I really don't understand that. Um, Ghanaian, so it might be, you know, the strong links are probably not going to be uh, plenty of them. Um, but I, I, I literally, that really does baffle me, the fact that they've given an icon CDM box to box. I just want someone... Really good. They did the same with Vieira. They gave him a centre mid and a really weird skill boost, if I remember correctly. High, high. Again, you don't really want high, high on a CDM. Long shot taker. That's it. That doesn't look great. I'm not going to lie. First icon, guys, of the brand new refresh. Does nothing for me. Next up, then, we have Rio Ferdinand. Uh, they've taken height away, but he is a tall centre back. I think he's like six foot four. Um,. Let's just have a look. So what's he got? He's got marking skill boost. So first two icons, guys. Terrible skill boost. Um, good stats, however. 90 pace, so he's pretty quick. Agility is not the strongest. 103 defending, 101 physical. Um, medium, medium for a centre-back. Again, not the greatest. So that's two icons I've looked at. Two terrible skill boosts. And both of their work rates haven't been great. Uh, power header is good, however. Power header is good. Um, Manchester United. The only reason I'm tempted to do this icon is just because it's Rio Ferdinand and he's at Manchester United. Uh, marking skill boost. It doesn't effective pace whatsoever. Marking heading aggression strength reactions. Interesting. Three star weak foot. Power header is very good. Don't get me wrong. Power header is very, very good on a centre back. Just his work rates and his skill boost for me that just don't do anything for me. Next up then, guys, we have the Italian striker Enzaghi. Uh, five star weak foot with poacher skill boost. You don't really get too many strikers with poacher. Um, it's kind of the striker that you kind of want to have in your box and head to head if you do abuse crossing. Uh, he's at Milan. Some really nice stats on him as well. 95 agility. 95 agility is quite high considering he's only 87 rated. That's actually very high for an only 87 rated card. Um, medium low. What? EA, can I just have a word with EA for literally two minutes? We're coming towards the end of the FIFA mobile season. These are icons. These cards are meant to be the best of the best. You know, they're meant to be... They're legends. They're legends of the sport. They're legends of football. They're meant to be the best cards. And it's a striker with medium low. Selfish and beats off side trap. I mean, you know, Poacher, I don't have really too much of a complaint with. It's Nzagi. Uh, it probably is the most suitable skill boost for a player like Nzagi. But just give him... I don't care what he was like in real life. Just give him high medium. It's It, it doesn't hurt 
anyone. If anything, it benefits the game because people will want to try them out and get the SBC done. Now, if anything, that's three icons, Essien, Ferdinand and Nzagi, where it's either the skill boost is trash or, or maybe even and, the work rates are absolutely terrible. Next up then, we do have Sadorf, 88 rated centre mid. He's got captain, right, good. Four star week for centre mid with a really nice meta skill boost. I'm liking the look of this a lot. Another Milan icon, 92 pace, 96 shooting, 103 passing, 102 agility. Um, 79 defending isn't awful. It's not obviously high. Uh, he's a centre mid, don't forget, not a CDM. So obviously if Sadoff was in a CDM role, you'd want him to have much higher defending than that. 79 defending, I think that's fine for a centre mid with 88 physical. Really nice skill boost as well with him. So he's high medium, isn't ideal, but isn't as ridiculous as Rio Ferdinand and Zagi and Essien. Uh, long shot taker as well with the flip flap and roulette. Not too bad. Probably the best icon so far in the, in the how many have we looked at now? Four that we have looked at. Next up then, Raquel May. This is interesting. 89 rated, free kick skill boost. Free kick skill boost isn't the worst in the world. He's very, very slow, mind. 80 pace. That's interesting. That's a lot slower than what I would have expected. Five star weak foot, 101 shooting, 106 passing, 98 agility is very nice. However, the pace is on the lower side. So free kick, curve, short passing, long shot, and shot power. So his pace isn't getting affected by free kick skill boost at all. Um, medium low. Medium low on a cam. What's with these skill boosts? He's got the rainbow flick, to be fair, as a skill move. Flare playmaker outside of the foot shot. Nice traits on him there. It's just the work rates again. Interesting. I don't remember the last batch of icons that were this poor. I'm going to be honest with you guys. So far, these icons have been a massive disappointment for me. All right, we're getting into the Masters. Lineker, give him a good skill boost. Give him a good skill boost, good work rate, and I'm happy. Finishing isn't the worst. It's not the worst. Five-star weak foot. Let's have a look at his work rates. High-low. They've hit the nail on the head with those work rates. Brilliant. Brilliant work rates. Beats the offside trap trait as well. 96 pace, 106 shooting. That's actually a decent card. Five star weak foot as well. Finish it. So his sprint speed gets affected by finishing. Shot power, volley, agility, and finishing. I actually really do like that skill boost. I actually think that's a pretty decent card, if I'm being honest with you guys. It's not It's not like, oh my god, I've got to complete that SBC. Or complete that icon. But that is by far the best icon so far in the batch that we've looked at. Gary Lineker. That's actually quite nice. I'm a fan of that one. Uh, next up then we've got Ryan Giggs at Manchester United. He's got the counter skill boost. Okay, I'm, I'm a big fan of the counter skill boost. I don't use it anymore. I used to use it, which is why it's at level 9. I'm a big fan of that skill boost. 5 soul weak foot, 109 pace, 102 shooting, 106 passing, 102 agility. That isn't too bad in the slightest. High medium's good. Beats the offside trap, speed dribbler, and heel to heel. That isn't too bad in the slightest. So his stats will be getting affected from his skill boost are long passing, vision, sprint speed, finishing, and dribbling. That actually isn't too bad. So Gary Lineker. So, so far, the two masters have been good. The elites have been terrible. Absolutely terrible. Um, oh, Dennis Burkamp. 92 rate long. Okay, so now we're getting into the meta skill boosts. Now we're getting into the meta skill boost. Arsenal fans, you'll be a massive fan of this one. Do you know what? For a cam, his stats do look brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Five-star weak foot, 111 pace, 114 shooting, 97 passing, 106 agility. Have good traits and have good work rates. And I could be tempted into doing this icon. I could be doing I could be tempted into this icon into doing this icon. Long shots is a brilliant skill boost. I rock it in my starting 11, which is why it's at level 13. Let's have a look. So his in-game stats do look pretty nice as well. Strengths on the lower end of the... Heading's not great. Mm. That heading's not great. I find my cam always does a lot of heading. Good work rates. Finesse shot and flare. Do you know what? This isn't too bad. I would have liked to have seen that heading a little bit higher. 
just because my cam always, sometimes when I whip the ball in, it's either Ronaldo, Dybala, or sometimes my Havertz in cam that's getting his head to the ball. But besides heading, I think that looks like a fantastic card. I really do think that's a good card. Interesting to see how his stats do fare up against Havertz, because I could be interested in doing Burkamp. Um, next up, then, we've got Kenny Dalglish. Second. So, basically, EA have said, elite skill boosts, no one cares about. Master skill boosts will make meta. So, he's got second striker. Finally, they're getting good. Hundred, hundred, the thing is that the thing is on this one, guys. Don't ruin it with a. Don't ruin it with the work rates, because those stats do look brilliant. 108 pace, 116 shooting, 89 passing, 112 agility. 112 agility. His second highest stat is agility. That's interesting. An 83 physical is very nice to see. His heading's good. His jumping's not too bad. His strength could be better. Ball control's brilliant. Dribbling's brilliant. Long shots is nice. Shot power's nice. Sprint speed's nice. Wow, okay, that looks like a really nice card. Perfect work rates for a striker. Flare, speed dribbler, long shot taken, outside foot shot with second striker. Kenny Dalglish does look really nice. I feel like Liverpool have had really nice icons this year. Really nice icons. Next, oh, Desai with aggression. Why would you not just give him holding? Why would you not give Desai holding? If he had have had the holding, I probably would have put a lot of coins into getting him done. Good pace. Passing's good for a centre-back. 89 agility, 119 defending and 112 physical. With aggression. Perfect work rates. Dives into tackle. So this is literally the perfect card. Except his skill boost is aggression. Oh, if that was holding... That would have been absolutely brilliant. That would have been absolutely brilliant. Oh, that's interesting. Another Arsenal when attacking. Okay, this is nice. So like the Martial card that's out right now. He's got attacking skill boost. Same as Cristiano Ronaldo. Five star week for 118, 124, 101, 112. 82 physical. 136 finishing. 130 shot power with 125 sprint speed. 90 strength, 95 heading. Okay, this card looks brilliant. Medium, medium. Medium, medium's a bit gutting. Tries to beat offside trap, finesse shot, flare, playmaker and speed dribbler with attacking. I think that looks like a really nice card. Again... EA are one thing away from making it a perfect card. Desai, just make his skill boost holding. Fantastic. Thierry Henry, make his... Uh, what was wrong with him again? His work rates high medium. Not medium. Yeah, medium, medium. Yeah, make them high medium. Perfect. Oh my goodness me. So, Ronaldo has been acceleration. I don't understand. I don't understand what EA are doing with these icons. I really don't understand what EA are doing with these icons. What's his work rates? Medium, medium. Why? What are EA doing with these icons? Stats wise, he looks insane. He looks absolutely insane. I probably would rather Thierry Henry. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I think I'd rather Thierry Henry. A striker with medium, medium. It's it's Ronaldo. It's arguably one of the greatest footballers ever. And you've given his icon card in a video game medium, medium. I, I don't understand. I really don't understand. I don't even... <sighs> Acceleration, agility, short passing, shot power and dribbling. Why do you want passing on a striker boosted? Why? Got the rainbow, which is very nice. Stats are very nice. Uh, skill moves very nice. Traits very nice. Acceleration skill boost. Mm. Not for me. Not for me. And the work rates are terrible. I don't understand what EA are doing with these icons. I really don't. As a free to play. 
There is no one there that tempts me. The only one that may tempt me is Burkamp and Thierry Henry. Besides that, no one there even makes me be like, okay, that card looks insane. I want to spend 10 million of my 30 million getting Ronaldo, for example. Interesting. Very, very interesting. I'm, I'm surprised with EA with that. You know, a lot of people hate on the icon refresh every month because they say it's not up to scratch. It's not good enough. And I'm 100% with those people for these new icons. They are trash. They are absolutely trash. It's either the skill moves. Uh, it's either the work rates that are wrong um, the or the skill boost. Skill boost is probably more... I'm maybe being a bit pedantic and picky on the work rates. But, you know, someone like Desai, probably the... Gr Laurent Blanc, maybe. Maybe the greatest French centre-back of all time. I'm trying to think who else I've forgotten off the top of my head. Yeah, pro probably Laurent Blanc or Desai, I think it's fair to say. And, and, and you're giving him a, a skill boost that isn't... You just know people won't like. I don't understand that. I really don't understand that. But anyway, guys, that is going to wrap things up for another Icon refresh. It's another month, guys, of probably me just completely ignoring Icons because no one in there does anything for me. Let me know down in the comments, guys. Do you like these Icons in the brand new refresh? And which of them are you going to be completing for in your starting lineups? Hope you have enjoyed this video, guys. If you have, make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're new. Until my next one, I'll be speaking to us later. Take care.